Hello, my name is Kate Latterell. Welcome back to Undertale. Um, so in the last uh, entire section, we actually beat the main portion of the game, and we got a little hint from Flowey the Flower that we could get a better ending. Um, so now his hint was to go talk to Dr. Alphys, so we're going to go talk to Dr. Alphys. Boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo -doo -doo. Oops, I ran into the judgment hall. Yay. Okay. I think I'm, oops, I think I'm gonna get a call soon from somebody. Cause I don't think we can just go talk to Dr. Alphys. I don't think it'll work like that. Um. But I do know I need to talk to someone specifically. There it is. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! Okay, so we're gonna go talk to Undyne first. Whoops. I keep forgetting that if that doesn't work for me. Please select a location. Uh, left floor one. <laughs> okay. I am still very, very quiet. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Alright. We need to go to Snowden. Yes. To Snowden. Then we're off. Okay. Tra la la. Hmm. I should have worn a few more pair of pants today. Yeah, probably. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Alright, Undyne. Let's talk to you. Your voice destroys my throat. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had things. Things and stuff. Oh, I didn't actually need to do that. But I'm here. Yeah. Okay, let's put the instant noodles in there. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Uh, well, it, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. I got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best. Yeah, if we try to read it and then restart it, we will get uh, yelled at. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry. I'm sure you all. Pro I'm sure you probably want me to do that, but I'm not going to. Ride the boat. Yes. Hotland. Come again sometime, tra la la. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. 
Yeah. You slide that under the door and give it a knock. Hmm. Uh, oh, n no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can't I just slide it back out? No, no. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it's shut c c kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, uh, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less, uh, this? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a date. What? Dating start. Do, 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 do. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. H how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Uh, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. H hey, w w wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. And that'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, d d don't worry. I'm prepared. Uh, I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First off, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating. Start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. You have no idea what you're doing. Hmm. Mm. Uh, do you like anime? I do. Hey, m me too. <laughs> hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? Uh, I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. That's not a good place to go on a date. That's not at all a good place to go. <clears throat> here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. She's really... Uh... Oh, no. That's her over there. I c can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh, no, here she comes. <clears throat> hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Ah, uh, you don't have it. Ah, have you at least seen her? Uh, I don't want to lie to you, Undyne. Nope. No, but she wasn't at home. Where the heck could she be? I lied to Undyne. Oh my god. Oh, uh, well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know... It'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you t to make you feel better. Thank you for the pity date. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, uh, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. You're adorable. N not that you aren't, uh, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. Clearly. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it way better? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us... Neither of us are happy. <clears throat> they say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <sighs> oh, no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the t t truth? I don't have the confidence. 
I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. <clears throat> uh, roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Hi, Undyne. H how are you today? I'm fine. Aha! Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. What is- Then she kisses you! What is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I... 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 I ha haven't been exactly truthful with you. Y you see, I... I... Oh, forget it. Undyne! I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and, and strong and, and nice. Y you always listen to me when I talk about n nerdy stuff. You always t t do your best to make me feel special. L like telling me that y you'll b beat up anyone g gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. <laughs> What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I just used it to make ice cream. And those human history books, they're just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those... Those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. And that time I... Elvis. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Elvis. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> do 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 I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it, what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. <laughs> Undyne, you... you're gonna train me? What, me? <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna let Papyrus do it. <sighs> Get those bones shaking! I can't... It's your... <sighs> it's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are! That's a little better. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne, I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics... Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Uh, I don't want you to fight me, so yes, anime is real. Ha ha ha! I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta catch up with them. Later. Bye, Undyne. Oh yeah, trash pile. I forgot this is... Oh, and I'm... Still gotta go talk to Alphys. Alright, still gotta be besties with her. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. 309 minutes. That's how long we've I've been doing this. We've been doing this. We've we've all been doing this. <sighs> Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go. 
there. To her. Lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. That was suspicious as fuck. Suspicious. Suspicious. Okay. We're gonna get out of here. Hey, can you take me to Hotlands? Doopy 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 doopy. Okay. We are back at your lab house. There's me again. There's the hole. And this is open. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Yes. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Um, I am going to check upstairs first. So that you can see, it's Metaton! Yay! Looks like Metaton is undergoing repairs. Yeah, okay. Let's get out of here. Boop, 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 boop. To the north, into the bathroom, which is actually an elevator. Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power. EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Where the heck are we going? Oh. Okay. Mm. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what is once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent soul of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep leaving, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. I have determination because I'm human. There's none on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. Okay. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. <laughs> 